This is the best DemoS 3.5 feature, and it's not even close. This one new feature fixes a problem Steam Deck has had since the very beginning. That's right, the Steam Deck can now finally auto-mount external drives. SteamOS has always had a very egregious issue. That being the Steam UI's inability to do anything with your external drive, at least by itself. Yes, there have been other developers that have remedied this using scripts, or at least have attempted to. But those days are over. Sorry, Chinballs Gaming, you made a great script, but it's not necessary anymore. SteamOS and, by extension, Bazite has a feature where if you plug in an external drive via its USB Type-C port, it'll automatically detect it now. This means external drives are now plug and play. Heck, you can even format them, all within the game mode interface. No more going to desktop, no more finicky scripts, none of that. Now you may be asking, how is this the best SteamOS 3.5 feature? Well, it's simple, really. It just is. Like, this is something that has been plaguing the Steam Deck since the very beginning. And all of this without an easy fix like Vibrant Deck. Yes, I've played around with those scripts, you know, the auto-mounting scripts, and I've also edited FSTAB myself. But at the end of the day, it just wasn't worth it for me. It wasn't plug and play, and at times, sometimes it just wouldn't work. But now it does. You can plug in a drive and just install games directly, but if you really want the best experience, you should format it on your Steam Deck. To install games, all you have to do is select a game from your library, press install, and select the drive in question. You can also rename the device. I've tested out this feature on two of my most prominent storage devices, my JSOX M.2 dock and this charge disk. Both are excellent devices, and even more excellent on Steam Deck now that this feature's out. And hey, there's also docks with micro SD card slots now, so check those out. I can now live out the ultimate fantasy of having a 5TB Steam Deck, 2TB inside my deck, a 1TB micro SD card, and an external 2TB SSD built into my dock. I've also tested this out with a number of other devices, like this flash drive from Samsung. It definitely works, but I wouldn't recommend running something like Cyberpunk off of it. Now, SteamOS 3.5 is still somewhat unstable, and there's no telling when SteamOS 3.5 will be available in stable, or even beta. And for those of you running Bazite, this feature works on Bazite. That said, the option to format through Steam is missing on Bazite, but I've reported it to them and they're aware. So expect a fix for that at some point. If you like this video, be sure to press the thumbs up button and spread the good gospel of high-tech lowlife. And if you want to see more high-tech lowlife, be sure to subscribe and press the bell icon for notifications. And for you enlightened individuals, be sure to join my Discord server. And if you wish to support high-tech lowlife, be sure to check out our Patreon page. Links in the description down below.